What if AI could not only solve the world's most complex problems, but also pay for everyone's basic needs? This is the bold vision of Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, a research lab that aims to create artificial general intelligence, an AI that can perform any task that a human can. Altman believes that AGI could generate a lot of wealth and value for humanity, and he wants to use some of that money to fund a universal basic income, which is a regular payment given to every person regardless of their income or work status. But how does Altman plan to achieve his vision of AGI and UBI? And why does he want $7 trillion for this? OpenAI CEO Sam Altman now turning to chips, reportedly looking to raise an eye-popping $5 to $7 trillion for a new venture that would boast the world's biggest chip building capacity. Sam Altman is not a man who thinks small. He is the CEO of OpenAI, and he believes that AGI will be the next big thing in technology and that it will have a huge impact on the world. To bring his vision of AGI and UBI to life, Sam Altman needs significant resources, especially GPU AI chips, the hardware that powers AI systems. Currently, NVIDIA is a company known for producing powerful AI chips. The biggest craze in tech is generated AI, services like ChatGPT which can write a poem for you, generate code, or help you plan a trip. But behind those services, you need massive amounts of computing power. NVIDIA has become the go-to for those kinds of AI chips that are really under this wave of AI tech. But there is a problem. NVIDIA's GPU AI chips come with a hefty price tag of around $10,000 each. Faced with the challenge of limited and expensive GPU AI chips from NVIDIA, Altman has an ambitious plan. He aims to secure a substantial amount of money, possibly up to $7 trillion, to create his own GPU AI chip factories. Now, this not only tackles the shortage, but also positions Altman ahead of other AI companies and countries, especially China, a major player in AI research and development. And let me tell you, this is a staggering amount of money, equivalent to almost half of the US GDP, or more than the combined market value of AMD, NVIDIA, and Intel. After this news broke out, people are going crazy over it. Some have said, sick amount of money, the amount could fix world poverty issues. In a recent interview at the World Government Summit in Dubai, Jensen Huang, the CEO of NVIDIA, questioned the need for Altman to raise $7 trillion. Huang argued that AI technology is always changing and getting better. Others expressed concerns like, I can't afford to live on my own in my area, and they are casually asking for five, seven trillion, which would lower the costs of making AI chips. He also joked that with seven trillion dollars, he could buy all the GPUs apparently, implying that Altman's figure was unrealistic. He said, if you just assume computers aren't going to get any faster, you might come to the conclusion that we need 14 planets, three galaxies, and four more suns to fuel all this, but computer architecture continues to advance. But the real question is, why are GPUs and infrastructure so important for AI? GPUs and infrastructure are important for AI because they enable faster and more efficient computation of complex tasks. GPUs are specialized hardware devices that can perform many calculations in parallel, which is ideal for processing large amounts of data and running machine learning algorithms. Infrastructure, on the other hand, refers to the systems and software that support the deployment and management of AI applications, such as cloud computing, high-performance computing, and data pipelines. The concept of universal basic income. Well, let me break it down for you. Sam Altman believes in universal basic income as a way to make sure everyone gets a certain amount of money regularly, no matter what their job or income is. He thinks UBI can help reduce poverty and inequality, allowing people to follow their dreams without worrying about money right away. Well, the debate on UBI is not new, but it has gained more attention in recent years, especially with the rise of AI and automation, which could potentially replace many human jobs. Some experts estimate that AI could eliminate up to 80% of current jobs by 2030, and this could create a massive unemployment crisis, as well as social and economic instability. Therefore, UBI could be a way to address this challenge by providing everyone with a stable and unconditional income, regardless of their employment status. Altman thinks that with UBI, 
people might feel more secure to try new things, like starting their own businesses or creating art, which could make the economy more vibrant and innovative. In a recent podcast, Sam discussed his thoughts on UBI through the lens of the WorldCoin project. He mentioned, I started thinking about UBI years ago, primarily driven by my work on OpenAI and a belief that UBI was a cool thing to study. Now, you might be wondering, what exactly is the WorldCoin project? Well, for this, imagine a world where you can get paid for just being yourself. Sounds too good to be true, right? But that's what WorldCoin promises to do. WorldCoin is a new cryptocurrency that aims to create a global community of people who share their unique biometric data. How does it work? It's simple. You just need to look into a device called the Orb, which scans your eyes and generates a code that represents your identity. This code is then stored on a secure and decentralized blockchain, where it cannot be copied or faked. But this is what Altman claims. But you know, it sounds a bit risky, don't you think? By scanning your eyes with the Orb, you can also receive free digital coins called WLD, which you can use to buy goods and services or save for the future. Altman said, if successful, we believe WorldCoin could drastically increase economic opportunity, scale a reliable solution for distinguishing humans from AI online while preserving privacy, enable global democratic processes, and eventually show a potential path to AI-funded UBI. Now is what they think, but people's reactions to WorldCoin are mixed. Some people are really excited about the project because they see it as a way to get free money, access the global economy, and prove their identity online. They think that WorldCoin is a visionary and innovative idea that could make the world a better place. According to a recent poll by WorldCoin, 75% of the users who scanned their eyes with the orb said they were satisfied with the service and would recommend it to others. For instance, one user tweeted, just got my world ID and some WLD tokens. This is the future of identity and money. Thank you at WorldCoin. However, there is a huge group of people who don't see it as positive. They are unsure about the project because they are worried about the privacy and security of their biometric data, the centralization and control of the World Coin Foundation, and the potential exploitation and manipulation of the users. For example, one article stated, WorldCoin's digital ID gambit draws fans, critics, privacy experts are concerned about the WorldCoin's collection of biometric data and how exactly the project will keep and protect that data going forward. The brains behind this ambitious project are Sam and Alex, two visionary entrepreneurs who have been working on this idea since 2019, when they founded a company called Tools for Humanity. Well, what do you think of WorldCoin? Do you think it's a revolutionary idea or a dangerous experiment? And would you guys scan your eyes with the orb and join the WorldCoin community? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Check out these videos on your screen for more interesting and AI-related content.